Welcome, my friend. Thanks for choosing to spend your time with Johnny and I on the mat today. I hope this video is not too dark. It seemed very doable when I was doing the editing. Today I have a total body deep stretch yoga sequence for you. The poses I'll guide you through can be pretty intense, so I invite you to watch where your mind goes as we hold the poses. If you find your mind wandering or checking out to hold the pose a little bit longer, just notice this and lovingly bring your awareness back to your body, to your nourishing breath, to the sensations you're experiencing. If you have a yoga block, we'll be using just one of them today and a firm pillow will also do the trick. Now hop into something comfy and I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll be taking wide knees child's pose to begin our practice today. So take your knees as wide as you comfortably can, feeling a nice deep stretch sensation in your hips and your groin. Walk your palms forward to melt your torso through center, reaching your fingertips away, forehead kissing the earth. Notice if you are feeling a deep stretch sensation or if you're experiencing pain and discomfort. If you are, Bring your knees in just a touch. Pain and discomfort's not our goal. A nice, deep, nourishing stretch sensation is. Ground into the present moment with your breath. Ground into your body with your breath. Ground through your forehead's connection to the earth and through every part of your body that kisses the earth. Let's take this into a side body stretch by walking your palms to the left side, taking them off the mat, then stack your right palm on top of the left. Let your chest yearn towards the earth. Then you have the option to get a deeper stretch in your side body by pressing away through the right side. Send your in breath into the length of your right side, seeing if you can expand and fill it up with air. And with your exhale, press away a little more. Slowly walk your palms back through center and then over to the right side, taking them just off of the mat. Stack your left palm on top of your right this time. Chest yearns to the earth, armpits yearn to the earth. Go ahead and play around and see how it feels to press away through your left side. Send your in-breath into the length of that left side, seeing if you can expand and fill it up with air. And with your exhales, press away a little more through your left side. Slowly walk your palms back to center. Release your forehead to the earth, coming back into child's pose. Palms are shoulder distance. Now press down to round forward, coming into cat pose. Exhaling all the air out as you round. Then inhale, ripple through your spine to lower your belly, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, intentionally sinking your hips back to your heels. Full breath in through your nose here. Exhale, round forward into cat pose. Tailbone lengthens to the earth. On your inhalation, find your cow pose. Tailbone lengthens towards the sky this time. Exhale, melt your hips to your heels. Deep breath in. 
Exhale to round forward, cat pose. Inhalation, cow pose. Exhale, hips sink to your heels. Walk your palms back to rise up. Bring your knees into hip distance and walk your palms forward to tabletop pose. Taking melting heart pose next. So keeping hips stacked over your knees just as they are, begin to walk your palms forward to lower your heart through center towards the earth. Your forehead kisses the earth. Breathe into your back, feeling your spine lengthen in both directions. If you'd like to go a little deeper, you can lift your gaze and bring your chin to the mat. Do this only if it feels safe in your body and your neck. Let's press into your palms to lift and slide your hips through center, lowering them to the mat for Sphinx Pose. Elbows under your shoulders, palms to the mat, forearms run parallel. Fingers are spread nice and wide so you can see the color of your mat in between. Take a gentle rock of your hips side to side to feel that grounding, that connection to the earth. Go ahead and lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Feeling how that creates space in your low back. Now draw your shoulder heads back in space and pull your heart center forward. Soften forward. We'll be taking a yin pose next called bow tie to get into our upper back body. So this is when we'll be using that yoga block or that firm pillow. So bring the block or the pillow horizontal in front of you for your forehead to rest to. Then line your right forearm in front of your left Begin to extend your arms out side to side, threading your arms so your fingertips reach in opposite directions. Go to reach, the, reach your fingertips away as far as you comfortably can, separating the shoulder blades. Then once you have it, go ahead and lower your forehead to the block or your pillow, adjusting it as needed to meet your body where it's at. Palms will face up. Relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Breathe into any areas of tightness or tension you're feeling in your upper back body. Great. To come out of the pose, go to lift your head and chest, and with loving kindness, slowly slide your forearms back into center. From here, go ahead and switch, bring your left forearm in front of your right, and slowly begin to extend your arms side to side, fingers reaching in opposite directions. Reaching them as far away as you can, separating your shoulder blades. Once you have it, lower your forehead to your prop. Palms face up, shoulders relax down away from your ears. Send your in breath into any areas of tightness or resistance you're feeling.
All right, my friend, it's time to make your way out of bow tie. So lift your head and chest with loving kindness, lines your forearms back into center. Set your prop off to the side. Slide your palms under your shoulders and make your way to down dog. Let your heels sink to the earth. Feel your tailbone lengthen to the sky and press your chest through center towards your thighs. An option to take your hips side to side. Beautiful. Find stillness. Now bend into your left knee. Your right leg is straight. Heel sinks to the mat. So we're focusing on the hamstring of your right leg. And then switch, right knee bends, left leg is straight, heel sinking to the mat, feeling into the back side of your left leg. Now sink both heels to the mat. Let's move into pigeon pose. So bring your right knee near your right wrist. Stretch that left leg back long behind you in one long line. Keep your pelvis level and melt down. Intuitively take whatever variation feels best with your arms today. We'll take five very deep, very nourishing breaths here in Pigeon Pose, allowing your body to soak up all the amazing benefits of this pose. Notice where your mind goes as you hold and breathe. Walk your palms back to lift your torso. Shift your weight into your right seat and swing your back leg around in front of you. Line that shin in front of the other, which is option one. Option two is to stack your left shin on top of the right. Flex your feet. Now we want our top ankle to rest on your knee or go past the knee just a little bit for a deeper stretch instead of nestling inside the knee. Keep a nice long spine as we hold this pose. So you may need to bring your fingertips behind you to prop yourself up. Option two is hands at your side, just sitting up nice and tall. Option three, if it's accessible in your body, hinge forward at your hip crease. Take whichever variation provides you a deep nourishing stretch while allowing you to maintain length in your spine. Really paying attention to keeping length in that low back. This is a very intense pose. So listen to your body, and if you notice any pain or discomfort, honor what your body's telling you and back off a little. Notice where your mind goes as we hold this intense pose. Do you stay present and in your body, or do you find that you check out to make it through the hold? And if your mind does wander, just take note and lovingly draw your attention back to your breath feeling into your body, into the sensations you're experiencing. Good work, my friend. Bring your fingertips behind you if they're not already and lean your torso back, extending your bottom leg out in front of you. Then bring your left heel near your right hip, lining your left knee on top of your right. Flex that extended foot, toes point up to the sky, and explore the variations with your arms that work best in our half shoelace pose. This can also be an intense pose. So hands behind you, maybe standing up tall at your side, or breathe in, lengthen up through the crown of your head, and hinge forward at your hip crease. Keeping a nice long spine as you hinge. The extended legs, toes flexed and pointing up to the sky. Breathe in. And breathe out. Staying present with your breath and with the sensations you're experiencing. Where do you feel the strongest sensations at in this pose? Slowly rise up. Bring fingertips behind you to lean your torso back, preparing for a seated twist. So bring your left sole of foot to the mat. Bend into your bottom leg to slide your right heel near your left seat. Your left palm comes to the mat behind you near your seat. Big inhale to extend your right fingertips up to the sky, getting tall, 
and exhale at your navel to twist to the left side space, bringing your right arm to your thigh. Stay broad across your chest. Shoulders draw down and away from your ears. On your in breaths, find length. And on your out breaths, move deeper into the twist by drawing your navel back to your spine. Release and return your torso to center. Taking full shoelace pose. So slide your right heel near your left hip. Knees are stacked. Explore the three options you can take with your hands. Finding whichever one supports length in your spine while providing your hip a deep nourishing stretch. Long, slow, deep breaths as you hold. Simply noticing how your mind responds. slowly rise up if you are hinged from here take your top leg and gently take it around to extend your leg back behind you once more finding pigeon pose just for a moment tuck your back toes and lift your hips to down dog wave your spine forward to find plank pose lower halfway chaturanga and then lift for your beautiful upward facing dog Press your hips up to downward facing dog. We're taking that deep nourishing stretch sequence to the second side, beginning with pigeon pose. So bring your left knee near your left wrist, stretching your right leg back long behind you. Put an even out your hips, weight evenly distributed. Then lower, melting into the pose, intuitively taking whatever variation feels best with your arms. Take five very deep, very nourishing breaths here in Pigeon Pose. Notice where your mind goes as you hold and breathe. Walk your palms back to lift your torso. Shift your weight into your left seat so you can swing your back leg around. Then line that shin in front of the other. That's option one. Option two is to stack your right shin on top of the left like fire logs. Flex your foot to protect your knee joint. Then check in with your top ankle. We want it to rest on your knee or going past it just a little for that deep stretch. Keep a nice long spine as we hold this pose, exploring the three options with your arms. Bringing fingertips behind you to prop yourself up. Option two, hands at your side, sitting up nice and tall. Or option three, hinging forward at your hip crease. Whichever variation provides you that deep nourishing stretch while maintaining length in your spine. As we take this sequence on the second side, let go of what you did on the first side and approach this side with a fresh new perspective so you're sure to meet your body where it's at and get the most benefit for that beautiful body of yours. Good work my friend. Moving into half shoelace pose. Bring your fingertips behind you if they weren't all ready to lean your torso back and extend your bottom leg out in front of you. Bring your right heel near your left hip, lining your right knee on top of your left. Flex the toes of your extended leg and explore the variations with your arms that works best in this pose on this side. Hands behind, at your side, or breathe in, lengthen up through the crown of your head and on your exhale, hinge forward at your hips. 
keeping a nice long spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Notice where your mind goes as you hold this pose. Do you stay present and in your body? Or do you find that you check out to make it through the hold? As always, if your mind wanders, just take note of it and lovingly draw your attention back to your breath Feel into your body, into the sensations you're experiencing. Slowly rise up and bring fingertips behind you to lean your torso back, preparing for a seated twist. So bring your right sole of foot to the mat, bend into your bottom leg to slide your left heel near your right seat. Your right palm comes to the mat behind you near your seat. And take that big breath in, extending your left fingertips up to the sky, finding length. Exhale at your navel to twist and open to the right side space. Bring your left arm to your thigh. Stay open across your chest, space between shoulders and ears. On your in breaths, find length by reaching up through the crown of your head. And on your exhales, move deeper into the twist by drawing your navel back to your spine. Release and return your torso to center. Taking full shoelace pose, so slide your left heel near your right hip. Glance down to make sure your knees are stacked. And explore those three options with your arms. Find whichever one supports length in your spine while providing your hip a deep, nourishing stretch. Long, slow, deep breaths as you hold. Simply noticing how your mind responds. Slowly rise up if you're hinged forward. From here, take your top leg and gently take it around to extend your leg back behind you, finding that pigeon pose. Then tuck your back toes and lift your hips to down dog. Wave your spine forward to find plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Big, beautiful breath in to upward facing dog. And press your hips up to down dog. Lower knees to the mat. Make your way to a comfy cross leg seat. Now we'll be here for several minutes as we are going to walk through a pranayama practice and then take a meditation. So prop yourself up with a pillow, meditation seat, or bolster if needed to help ease the pose. Relax your hands wherever is comfortable and gently close those eyes. Roll your shoulder heads up and back, lengthening your spine and getting broad across your collarbone. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, feel your body soften. Deep breath in. Exhale, feel yourself arrive here on the mat in mind, body, and spirit. We are going to introduce Ujjayi Pranayama which you may also know as victorious breath or ocean's breath. This pranayama practice can calm body and mind, bringing you into the present moment while also creating heat in your body. For this pranayama, we will inhale through your nose and we'll exhale out your nose, but we'll be making a constriction in your throat to make a ocean-like sound. Full breath in through your nose, Constrict your throat and make that ocean-like sound with the exhale out your nose. Full deep breath in, feeling your belly, ribs, and chest fill up with air. A long, slow, complete ocean-like exhale out your nose. 
Breathe in, filling up your belly first, then your ribs, up into your chest and your clavicle. Long, slow exhale, air traveling the opposite direction. Air presses out your clavicle, chest, ribs, and then belly, pressing all the air out, making that ocean-like sound. Go ahead and continue this pranayama practice on your own until you hear my voice once more. Beautiful, my friend. Allow your breath to settle into its own natural rhythm. Tune in, noticing the effects of the pranayama practice on your body, mind, and spirit. Did your mind wander during the pranayama practice, or did we stay present with those deeply nourishing breaths? Full deep breath in. And exhale, release. And for our meditation today, we'll be taking a moment to just be still, to be silent, to sit with ourselves. We will not be here for too long, so please stay here with me and just be still, be present. It will do your mind, body, and spirit a world of good. Slowly bring your hands to prayer at heart. Full breath in through your nose. And exhale, let go. And begin to rub your palms together. Feel the warmth you're creating in your palms, bringing awareness back into your physical body. Gently open your eyes, taking in the color of your mat and then the environment around you. Spread a soft smile upon your face. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me on the mat today. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this total body stretch yoga sequence. Throw the video a thumbs up. Share it with family, friends on social media. Spread the yoga love and light to others. So much love from my heart to yours.